Today, me and Rick are going to take a look at Met Pro's Conlock system. I'd like to think the intro's already answered one of the questions that we've already had. However, I've got a question for you, Rick. How much do you weigh? Well, since starting at Team Fix, I've put a little bit of timber on. I'm now 12 and a half stone. Wow, so the first myth is correct. The camera does add a few pounds, because Rick, I've got you up at about 18 and a half stone. No, no, definitely 12 and a half. Where do these questions come from? They come from a series of videos that we've made using MacPro's Conlock system. In the first video, we installed this conduit system behind us. In the second video, we looked at the number of conductors we could install within the system in order that we could wire it. And in the third video, Rick? Yeah, we had a look at the Robus Golf LED bulkheads. We did, and I will leave links to all three of those videos in the description. However, with you suggesting you're up at a bulky 12 and a half stone, I'm not sure I trust you at the minute, so I'm gonna to need to take a closer look at this piece of conduit that you were hanging from the start of the video. Yeah, so what we've got here is a coupler, a solid 90 degree bend and another solid 90 degree bend. Okay, so all of these grub screws here, which was one of the questions we had, how much uh, force could be applied to them, and I would like to suggest you're nearer 18 and a half stone than you are 12 and a half, comfortably held on of uh, that sort of weight, didn't they? So can you show me how did, we connected yeah. them together? Yeah, so for connecting them together, we have a piece of conduit, square it, ream it, and then just simply insert, insert into the box, and with an Allen key, we just Wind that screw down. Nip that up. Okay, so that goes down there, so hold it into position, and that's what you were hanging on, effectively one of those little grub screws. Yeah. If I wanted to change it, and we did that in one of our videos, I, I set you a task of doing the conduit and then I changed my mind halfway through. It's a very simple process, because you don't have to obviously unspin it as you would with a threaded end. Nope. You could just swap out a box and replace so, it with another one. So I take that out and I just pop in a through box there. That is a really simple process, isn't it, in order yeah. to do that. Another question we get asked around that grub screw is all about electrical continuity. So in other words, we're so used to threading a piece of conduit and spinning it into a spouted box and locking it off with a pair of grips. But now with that grub screw that we've wound down with our Allen key that we proved can withstand your weight, Rick, have you got continuity? In other words, a low resistive earth path? Yeah, so this is where we took out our material tester and the long wandering lead and then removed any resistance in the cable and then connected it to our earth bar. So once it was in the earth bar, we needed to take that long wandering lead out into the system. We started at one of our closest points first in order to prove that we have a low resistance reading. So going on to the grub screw here of the angle box, and reading the reading from our machine, we can see we get a value of 0 0.02 of an ohm. We went on to the M4 screw, and we repeated the process, and again, we got 0 0.02 of an ohm. As we walk into our system and come further away from the consumer unit, in other words, adding more metallic conduit to it, we expect that reading maybe to change, but let's see what we get at our furthest point in our system. Again, 0 0.02. So we have gone further away from the system, we've proven we have a low resistive reading for our continuity. And that was replicated also when we went to our socket outlet. We went on to the coupler that attached that to the metal clad socket and the back box. And at all points, we got exactly the same reading of 0 0.02 ohms. Clearly there, Rick, through your testing process, you've proved that the conduit system behind us has continuity, in other words, a low resistive path. However, another question we've been asked is, can I use this system outside? You can, yeah. Do you want to bring the camera in? Okay, what have you got to show me, Rick? So, MetPro, I've got you covered here with the all galve conduit system. What do we mean by all galve? So if you see here, there would normally be a thread which allows them to be galvanised as well. Okay, so the whole box is galvanised. That means I can use it outside. Yeah, there is one caveat, though. Where we make the connection, MetPro have recommended that we use CT1 sealant around the spouts. Okay, so all spouted areas have that sealant if it's going to be used outside. And as I look at some of the accessories we've got here on the table, can you tell me any businesses or companies that have used this Conlock system? Yeah, there's Tesco's, BBC, Amazon and Pure Gym, just to name a few. I doubt you've ever been to the Pure Gym, but what I like about the system is you can mix and match between a threaded and a Conlock system. We did exactly that here, didn't we? We did, yeah. So as you see here on this coupler, we've got the thread, we've got the Conlock system, and we use it to connect our Flexicon adapter to run to our power pole. So on the table in front of us, we've only got some of the accessories that are available in the Conlock range. If you check out their website, you can see a comprehensive list of all the items that they offer within the Conlock system.
One accessory I do want to highlight, Gaz, is the rapid saddle, especially when you'd run off, it made my life easier. Okay, we're all about making your life easier at eFix, and that's whether you're using the traditional or the conlock system. The rapid saddle, when in a horizontal plane, means you can just lift your conduit on and meant that I didn't have to stand at one end. However, if you're interested in traditional conduit and threading and some of the more complicated bends, I've also got a playlist that I'll leave in the description that's gonna help you out with that. But this system here reminds me of my time teaching, and if you think you're probably gonna be working in the electrical industry for about 50 years, surely using the conlock method of connecting your conduit system will physically be easier on you. Physically easier yeah. on you? Whenever there's any work to be carried out, it's always me that has to do it on my own. Okay, well that's good, so that's physically saving me. If you've got a Rick at work who does all the work for you, leave it in the comments below. If you've got any other questions on the Conlock system you'd like to leave, please leave them and we'll try and get back to as many as we can. We're having a word with you about your attitude. <laughs>